Hi, this is Michael Reynal, Chief Investment Officer of Sophus Capital, part of the Victory Capital. I'm here this afternoon to talk about the recent pandemic and the opportunities and concerns we have around the world. As we reflect on the political impact of the pandemic in emerging markets, we will clearly see certain countries come out of this, if not stronger, at least with a more coherent attitude and focus on how to grow their economies in 2020 and 2021. I do fear, however, for those countries where you've seen a more chaotic response, where the political opposition has grown because of how the government has handled what has really been a real tragedy across the world. We will want to avoid situations and economies where the response was so weak that the recovery will be lower, slower, longer than we would have hoped. Oil in the mid 20s, all the way from the high 70s. What a move. Let's remember though that in emerging markets, you have oil exporters, Saudi Arabia, Russia, and oil importers, India, Korea, China. So you have winners and losers in this. And the reality is right across the emerging market space, there are multiple opportunities to capture the benefits, but also sadly, potentially to get hit by the low price of oil. From a sector perspective, the same applies. In transportation, oil is a significant cost. Shipping, air transport are very much driven by the price of oil. They will ultimately benefit from the move that we've seen. On the other hand, petrochemicals are linked to the price of oil. Plastics, they will lose. So we have to sift through the impact of this from the bottom up as well as the top down. At another level, however, I want to address the, the impact of low oil. Politically, this has a huge impact. The influence of the Gulf, Saudi Arabia, etc., is going to change. Their demands domestically are going to change. Same with Russia. But the biggest loser, ironically, of oil at this price is the United States. The fracking industry is taking a huge hit. And that is becoming a very politically sensitive topic. We've seen the current administration already negotiating with Saudi Arabia, Russia, discussing with OPEC how to handle this. At the end of the day, that discussion, that negotiation, will probably have as big of an impact on global markets as the price of oil itself. The biggest changes following the pandemic will likely come in entertainment and how we work, how we function. There will also be political implications. Let me explain. From an entertainment perspective, proximity is becoming an issue. We may or may not want to be right next to that fellow gym member in the future. We will probably be doing more at home or in more isolated environments. Work has changed, certainly in my industry. I'm at home and frankly, not much has changed for me. On the other hand, travel experiences abroad will be reduced until we find a vaccine, until we find a cure. Even then, however, you have to wonder whether we won't change our habits in the long term. One of the things that strikes me is that my privacy, my medical privacy, my health is going to become a matter of public interest. That makes a big difference. We will know a lot more about each other, if not directly, than as a society. Information will become more prized. Security will become more important, and not just around theft and fraud, but also around health. The last point that I want to make is technology is the big winner. Technology through communication, technology through gaming and entertainment, technology through linking to each other as we are today. We've seen already that those gaming companies, communication companies have been winners in the markets. That will only continue from here.